Welcome back to the NCAA 14 USF Bulls Dynasty. Um, we got Travis Allen to sign. That's awesome. That is a big sign for us. We're in recruiting battles with a bunch of other people. And uh, I guess we'll just have to kind of see how it went this week. I did end up simming the week against UConn, and we won. Uh, it's our fifth win. Uh, we won 20-17, to 17, it said. Um, so that's a good win for us, I guess. I'm curious now. We've won five. Have yet to take a loss. Do we have any votes? We do. So we actually have some votes. Technically, right now, we are ranked 28th. We're ranked 28th in the polls, which is cool. Definitely good. Um, but we're in a bye week right now. And of course... We want to check how our recruiting from the last video went. So we're going to go ahead and do it. I, I've, I've been going back and forth whether I want to keep showing recruiting. I think it's interesting. Um, it's literally the most important part of building a dynasty. So I think it's worth it just to show it, even if it takes 10, 15 minutes. If you, you, know, if you don't want to watch it, of course, just go forward. Uh, we are over here checking out Tyson Brandt. Now, the Southern Miss and UAB thing I think is just glitched. I don't think they actually gained a thousand. I, I don't know what could possibly cause that. However, Tyson Brandt has 96 speed and some of the best coverage in the game uh, for like a recruit. So we're really hoping to get him. We did drop into the 35 on Mark Johnson. Now, how much do they get in a visit? UCF will get 600 points. And then if they hit their goals, they'll probably get about, I guess UCF isn't the one I have to be worried about. It would be Florida, because I'm 570 back. This could be a complete waste to keep going after. They're going to get 100 plus, probably, I'm assuming it's going to be the same bonus goal, so they'll probably get 500 more points. I think we'll be fine. I think we might be able to stay in. It's going to be close. It's not going to be easy. I think we stay in on him. Uh, up here for P.J. Thomas, there's some teams that are gaining on him, but they're just so far behind. I don't think I have to worry about it. Once week nine hits, I think we'll get him. Um, let's go ahead and sort by overall. I don't know why it sorts by rank, dude. Prince Beverly is, is he a five-star? No, he's a four-star. Okay, but we did gain on him. Mark Johnson is one we already went over. We got 500 more on Cortez Ball, which is sick. Exactly what we're trying to do. He's 30%. Casey Thomas, we're gaining on. Tyson Brandt, uh, we already went over. Clint Muller, slowly but surely. And in fact, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm just going to offer a scholarship to any of these top players and hope that they love it so much that they join. I don't really see... The other ones that I just added, though. I know I just added a bunch of good ones. How about this dude? Yeah, I'll offer you a scholarship. Were they just not all super high in overall? Mark Brown. This is the other gem. We lost 615. Did we actually? I don't think we did. I think that's a... We're going to not quit out on him yet. Because I don't think we did. I think we are gaining. Um, and that's the thing. The like change thing is pretty broken, unfortunately, because this game is so old. Uh, Collier, the tackle, is one we definitely want. And we're going to have to put some points in. We're going to go up to 600. I am not letting Baylor take him. Uh, this tight end we will go up to 420, I guess. I don't know. Over here, we're losing out on Josh Tillman. We need to make up our mind. Do we want him? I'm going to put 230 on him. And then... This is probably someone we want to put as many points on as we can. Can we take some off of anybody? Probably don't want to do it with any of these top players. We'd be lower overall players. 
that would be safer to do. Um, yeah, Michael Johnson, I'm going to take 50 off of. This dude, kind of in a weird spot on him. I kind of need to bite the bullet and get rid of him, points-wise. Or I need to commit more points. Harold Reese, I do really want, though, regaining on Old Dominion. How did they get so many points? I don't know. This dude... We'll actually probably end up losing out on. I'm going to take all the points off. Uh, Brian Sullivan. We can schedule him for... I mean, how close is everyone else? Pretty close. Um, yeah, if we get like five... Yeah, I think we'll schedule him for Louisville. Um, 150 for this dude. We're gaining on the Tar Heels. I don't know if it's worth it. We have so many guards that we're going after. Pennington. We lost Moron somehow. Workman. You're 64. Do I really need you? Yeah, I am all over the fence on, like... What I want to do. I'm going to be honest. This is not easy. <clears throat> um, definitely want to add points to this, dude. Um, I don't think we need to scout more, dude. We have so many prospects that we're already targeting. Are we missing any like vital positions? We already have our QB signed. Three tackles and four guards. I mean, that's definitely too many. Do we need to do that many? I'm going to leave Mark Brown on here. And then I'm going to... I'm going to take him off Reggie Reyes. I think that's what we'll do. And then we have a bunch of defensive ends and DTs. Probably just don't need them. Don't need them all, at least. But we can get some really good ones. That's the thing. We're going to put on... Prince Beverly 300... I mean, they did pretty good spreading it out. We could use another corner, definitely. I think that's what I'm going to search for here. See if we can find one more good corner. Um, let's go to the cornerback slots. The fastest ones all have been signed, of course. Down the board, though, we could get someone like Bo Scott. My board shouldn't be full. I just took someone off it. Did we not? Um, let's sort by overall and go to the bottom. I'm pretty sure I just took someone off. Do we need, how many wide receivers are we scouting? Yeah, we're scouting five. We don't need five. We just need like four. We're putting in points on workmen. Do we need to? Which one is which one of these do we want the most? What's what's their height? Six two to five eleven. Tom Gary. I mean, we're easily gaining on him though. That's the weird thing. And I don't want to have to put points into that dude. This is we're at a crossroads, are we not? I don't need three tight ends probably. Um, will we end up getting both these guys is the question. I'm going to take off James Outlaw. Yeah, can we please? Thank you. All right, now we can grab that corner. I think getting two corners probably isn't even enough, to be honest. And this guy's a 60. I don't really know, man. I don't know what the strat is. Actually, I do know. I just, like... I'm so conflicted on... There's so many people I want. It's kind of hard. I don't want to have to pick and choose, you know? Um, let's go ahead and scout him. Yeah, he's definitely worth it if we can get him. I think 100%. 100% a player we want. 90 speed. Looks pretty good. This is a bye week, so of course we get to skip to next week and do the exact same thing again. I know. So invigorating and exciting. 
In fact, I'm out of water, and now I am thirsty. Doing two scouting in one like video is actually probably not the best idea. It's going to make these videos longer for sure. Um, let's see. CJ Pennington locked us out. Interesting. That's actually the first time I've had that happen because I usually just cut ties with players. But I thought I could get him. I was pretty confident I could get him. Um, okay. The first thing I want to do before I forget, I want to schedule this one running back. For the end of the year. Perfect. Now, let's go to all positions. Let's sort by overall. See how the scouting is going. We're gaining on him. Mark Johnson we gained on? Oh, that's so clutch. Oh, that is so clutch, dude. I think there's a good chance we can get him, realistically. Florida... Got a little too comfortable and took points off. We did. Cortez Ball. Easily someone I think we're going to get. Do we need to offer scholarships? I don't think so. We do have 400 points now because of P.J. Pennington. Um, yeah, what is going on? Why are these teams flying up these boards on some of my players by, like, thousands? It's got to be a bug. Clint, we are gaining on more and more. Slowly but surely. Marcus Collier, we gained a lot on from Baylor. I'm glad because that scared me, seeing them fly up the board. This dude, uh, should we up it on him? Yeah, we'll go 520, dude. I want to make sure we get him for sure. Um, Josh Tillman, we're slowly gaining on. I think this is another player that we go up to an extra chunk and then the problem is is he's going to lock out he's going to lock us out right unless i max it out wasn't it pj thomas that locked us out who locked us out i thought it was pj thomas oh it's pennington da 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 hmm we're only locked out because he already visited Troy. That was this week. He visited Troy. They got a big bonus. And we got knocked out. Is he our only outside linebacker that we are trying to recruit? No, we do have this guy. Should we just put the points on him instead? And just accept defeat? It seems certainly tempting. I don't know if we can get this, dude. Maybe we do need to scout one more outside linebacker. This is, a, like, it is, this is, the first year is kind of the most stressful, because I feel like there's so much I have to think about. Uh, let's see if there's just an uh, alternative outside linebacker that we can grab that's not, like, ungodly expensive. This dude might be the best one. I don't think I have 50 points to scout, do I? I do. Okay, perfect. Yeah, maybe... Maybe offer 80 to this dude. Alright, I think that's fine for now. I don't feel like doing more of that. Um, this game is Louisville. They are maybe the toughest team we've played. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into this, and I will resume once we get to the loading screen. All right, we're back. <clears throat> Done loading. We are doing actually pretty good. Oh, we are ranked now. We're the 23rd ranked team. That's pretty cool. We have a guard, a wide receiver, and a running back. 
they all get some pretty good bonuses for visiting. <clears throat> None of them are really like super high overall, but they're all players I definitely want. So we want to pass for over 250 and rush for over 100. We get big bonuses on all of them. So hopefully we're able to do that. It looks like their top players are all offensive. However, their running back, that happens to be very good, is Hurt. Interesting. He has a broken vertebrae. Oh, S-E-A is season. That's definitely what that means. <clears throat> and they're missing a left tackle. Dude, he actually broke his spine. That poor man. That poor virtual person. All right. They're going tails. They're going to win it. Dude, we have to get over this, like, receiving to start the game woes. Like, I literally can never score a first-track touchdown, I feel like. And what's so funny, the first season I ever played it with James Madison, it was so easy. Every game, every season I did it. And then when the second season hit, I just could never do it again. So we're going to get over that right now. This drive is going to be the, one of the most well-put-together drives you've ever seen. You're going to be like, wow, who am I watching? It is not Damon. No way, Jose. He could never do that, bro. And I'm going to be like, yeah, it was. I know. Subtle flex, but not that subtle. Brian Batty, 12-yard rush. It's one play at a time. That has got to be my motto for this series. Got to be my motto, because it's true, man. I don't have to do it all in one play. It can be one play, and then another, and then another. That time, we managed to get one, but... Poor blocking, dude. You get so many people up the field, it looks good, and then you're like, oh yeah, they just forgot to block three dudes right in front of them. That's that's how they got there. Um, gonna put Horn on a slant. Have three slants across the middle. It's never failed me. 100% has. We do get the ball off. Williams just drops it. Williams just drops it. Sick. It is third and nine now. You know, I'm starting to think maybe it isn't my fault that I can never score a first drive touchdown. The game doesn't want me to. How am I supposed to affect that drop? That's a first down in the making, and my player just becomes Tommy Butterfingers out there. This time, though, we throw a dot. Brown makes a man miss. Can't make two, but Coffrey Brown gets 25 yards there. That's what I'm talking about, third and nine, and we convert. So now, what do we want to do? We just want to drive up the field more and more. Don't want to put too much pressures on our pressures, too much pressure on ourselves. We're gonna run this jet sweep. We got Horn Jr., the senior, running to the outside, and he gets 13. Okay, look at that. We'll even run a read option. I don't remember how fast our quarterback is. He isn't like fast, but he isn't like slow. Looks like they might be blitzing on the outside turn. So I'm gonna try and capitalize if that's the case. It is a blitz, but we do. I, I don't know why I just get, like, panicked. That was not a safe throw. It wasn't necessarily the worst throw. Like, it was semi-open, just contested. But they can easily end in a pick. If that dude decides to have a little bit of a better reaction time, that's an interception every time. I gotta be safer. No panicking. This draw... This draw... Why did I go... Um, English there. This drove his stalling a bit. When you say, mate. Alright, we could go to the flat, but I don't think it'll be good. However, Brown, Coffrey Brown, gets it down to the one. Tempted to no huddle, but I'm not going to. I told you, it is literally so easy if you just take your time. Don't rush anything. I'm going to actually just run this. I know it's probably going to get stuffed. I wanted to give it a shot anyways. Those, those fullbacks are, you know, like, what was 80 doing there? He's just not blocking. He, he thought that would be a really good decision for the team. Uh, what happens if we run here and we flip it? Can we beat the guy to the outside? It is Manningham, so we can't, but he manages to somehow get through a couple guys to fall into the end zone. We do get the rushing touchdown, dude. All right, 10 plays, 63 yards. I mean, that's like the perfect drive. One play after another, we got to throw down several times, and we converted. 
up against not a bad Louisville team. So if I can if I can consistently do that, man, we might have a shot at a dominant game. And by dominant, I mean maybe two possessions. And uh, they get a big return. <clears throat> Great blocking. Can't do much about it. Except admire and hope that we don't allow it again. We got Boyles here. It is a run. We're trying to get to the outside with Boyles. Can't get to the QB. Oh my god, it's Jack Plummer. I'm pretty sure. If this is the same dude, I think it is. When I played James Madison, there was one QB that literally could run through eight players like it was nothing. I think it was Plummer, dude. I'm pretty sure it was Plummer. Oh, I'm going to be so mad if that happens this game. It was so aggravating. I was like sending the house at this QB. And he would just run through them like they were butter. Okay, I got to get back. That, yep, that flood route or whatever you call it, out route. That's about 10 yards down the field. Always wide. It's a good concept play. I, I can't be mad when that happens because the safety has to go deep, right? Like, it's not like he's just neglecting the route like a lot of the times they do with corner routes and stuff. He does have a job to do, and that's why I'm not mad. That was a huge hit. Um, I, I'm not sure if it was Greyer. No, I think it was... Yeah, it was Boyles. Boyles always has that star, man. He is an impact player, according to the game. Regardless of the game, he's always an impact player. Jamari Thrash, what a what a dope name. What an absolutely sick name. Kind of messing with my mic a little bit. I hope that's not audible. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a run up the middle, and I'm trying to get the safety there. They do lose two yards. Maurice Turner gets stuffed. Fourth down, Louisville. This is a 45-yarder. That's, like, pretty long for college, but I don't know why, I swear. They've been so good at hitting field goals like this. This is, like, where it starts to not be a gimme, I would say. With the 40s. These college kickers in this game, I swear my kicker couldn't do it until I drafted one or recruited one. But uh, they can actually hit good field goals. I'm going to cut it back to the outside. Williams has the corner. Makes one man miss. There's a clipping penalty. Uh, seems to be quite often. Penalties in this game are so non-existent except clipping. I don't... I feel like I need to raise the slider, but it's also, like, not always fun to have a bunch of penalties. Like, in Madden, when you get a good run, it's holding. It makes me want to throw my controller. All right, we're going to run some slants. We're pressed up pretty tightly. I'm going to run it with Bohannon. Go out of bounds. Don't want to take an injury. Nice 19-yard run, dude. It got a little sketchy, but we prevailed. That's the end of the first quarter. We're doing pretty good right now. We have not, not done poorly. This playbook is so run-heavy, man. I don't hate it. It's not that I hate it. It's that the blocking with these tight ends and stuff in the backfield, not good, dude. It, it's just not good. I don't really like it. I will consider a QB. All right, I'll consider a playbook change when we get the new QB 100%. It's more option-oriented. It's just whether or not I want to do that in this season with the current QB. Because... He isn't slow, but I don't know if I trust him to be running around, you know, defensive ends, linebackers consistently outside of the occasional scramble here and there. Dude, Coffrey Brown, doing pretty good this game. 18-yard reception for him. He's already at 56 yards in this game. Oh, he's caught. He's the only person to catch a pass. Noted. Well, you know what that means. It means we got to go to our boy Chris Carter, who runs through number five. Never stood a chance. Another 17-yard gain for us. Um, I'm going to hit run. 
See, like, these, I feel like, are better, because, like, the less um, horizontal that the fullback has to run, the easier it is, it seems, for them to decide who they should block, which, for me, is fine. We have run it significantly more than we've passed so far this game, but that's fine. I mean, it, it, we're driving. If it's working, don't fix it. I did cut it inside, because I I mean, I could just could never expect that dude to break inside from the block. And I saw daylight. Should have gone in the outside. One of those decisions you gotta make instantly. And it sometimes can be a 50-50. I see Petit out of the backfield, he gets 13, and I tell you what, they can't seem to stop this USF offense when I'm just pacing down the field, I'm not making any rash decisions, I'm playing football how it's supposed to be played, and Coffrey round, it took a while for the play to develop, he got jammed off the release, Gets a bunch of space after a little bit of time, though, and gets an easy touchdown for us. What a good throw by our QB as well. I don't want to undersell the Hannon's performance. I'm pretty sure it's a I'm low key kind of forgetting how to see this guy. Forgive me. Ooh! He made some moves. This return is pretty good. And their block has been solid. However, another drive, another opportunity for them to score. We just gotta limit Plummer, dude. I know he's gonna run it. I know he's gonna run it. Okay, no one, no one's doing anything. Okay. Hands forward, bro. Strip him. Dang it. Yep, Jack Plummer, dude. The greatest running QB of all time. I knew it was this plumber, dude. I knew it. I was pretty sure it was a plumber. I don't know how many of those there are. <laughs> I didn't want to fully say it was him. It certainly seems like it is, though. As uh, Maurice Turner just got murdered. That, that seems like unnecessary roughness. I'm going to be honest. I guess that wasn't called as much back in 2013. Simpler times, man. Back in the good old days when you could sack the QB without having to worry about a penalty because you didn't tuck him in while you did it. Alright. I'm so scared right now. It's going to be a read option. I'm not going to be able to cover it. Oh, it's even worse. Oh, where, where is it, dude? What a play. Number four. I never see his name, I swear. He makes some crazy good plays. Williams? I'm pretty sure he's the one that it makes the most consistent plays. We force another field goal. We are playing a very bend but don't break style of defense, which can sometimes be bad. But I would say when our offense is playing like this, I would say especially when our offense is playing like this, it is more often good than it is not. Latrell Williams. That's a return there. Up to the 26. Now we've been playing such a paced offense. Maybe they won't see the streak by Brown. It seems they did. We're just going to throw it away. I definitely threw that to Chris Carter. Though Annan uh, had a mind of his own. And I'm okay with it, honestly. Maybe a throw away in those situations is, is not so bad. We're going to find it right up the middle to Coffee Brown, bro. He has been so good this game. He gets, I want to say, his second, maybe third touchdown. Second. Okay. But he has 168 receiving yards on his own, dude. What a game he is having. I'm not recruiting a kicker, am I? I think we need to do that. This kicker doesn't seem very great. Our kicker does not seem amazing. At least... This kick power seems like it's like 30. Oh man, we made a play with Hill. Maybe it's Hill and... Uh, I already forgot the safety's name that I just learned. I do want to see what our kicker stat is, by the way. I don't want to get into the offseason and be like, oh, yeah, I forgot a kicker. Okay. Should have remembered that. Yeah, I mean, he's a 79. He is a senior, though. 
So we, we actually do. We do need a kicker. Do we need a punter? This is now instantly a concern. Oh my god. We are in desperate need of both of those. Which you wouldn't think is that big of a deal, but we literally will have no one on the roster if we don't get one. So all of a sudden that might be that might be uh what a play. Uh that'll that'll be a concern of ours pretty pretty soon. In fact it'll be immediately after this week when we can actually go into scouting and do it. We got Greyer here. I tried to get there, couldn't do it. Big play for him. Alright, that's fun. Let's put Yates on a QB spy. Go to Boyles. Okay. Plummer, uh... He's, he might be on the spectrum, but other than that, he's really good at running a football. I'll give him that. Oh my god, it's because he has that... I'm not going to say the word, but he has that blank strength, you know? That's why he can run through everybody. Hill makes a great tackle. I'm actually trying to get myself, like, in trouble. I know that I'm recording, and I'm still saying... I, I haven't really said anything bad, but... I have... inferred... <laughs> Can, I get, can you get, like, canceled if you infer something? I'm not going to test my limits and try and find out, but it is, you know, I'm just curious. You know, where's Tuner? Gets the reception. I should get back to the game. That, that, <laughs> I should get back to talking about the game. It seems like the best idea. In my defense, it is 2.20 a.m. when I'm recording this. My brain is not really in the healthiest <laughs> the healthiest place. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot that's good at NCAA though, dude. We're five and zero. Granted, I only played for those five, but maybe. Oh, Williams. Williams and Hill, bro. The greatest players with dreadlocks I've ever seen. I, I almost switched on, but I was like, no, Williams has got this. And he did. He did have it. We're going to streak Brown. We got two streaks. Chris Carter can't hold on. There was a lot around him, so I mean, that's fine. I know how this game works. Because it's not animation-oriented, it'll just make you drop those for funsies. Um... So I'm not too mad at my boy Chris. Because I know next time he's got my back, you know. I'm going to throw it to Weaver. He does not turn around. To be fair, his head was not looking that way. Although I feel like when you're that far down the field, you got to be maybe expecting a pass. So why would you not be looking? And look, it, it is what it is. All right. Third and ten. I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to get this. Barring a miracle? Okay, that was under thrown. I don't know what our QB's throw power is, Gary. Uh, Gary's throw power. If I had to take a bet, I'm pretty confident I can tell you it is not high. Uh, I've, obviously, we got a punt. I don't really want a punt. It's not exciting, but with 12 seconds in the half and in that field position, not punting is like maybe the dumbest thing I could imagine. As Amari Hudgens-Bruce gets nine yards on the return. And we can run some, some uh, three-man deep. We're going to blitz Breyer and then switch to the middle. We got some pressure, and he can't throw the ball accurately. Jack Clummer, passing, not been his best thing this game, but he does have like a 60-yard run. So I don't know if I'd chop it up to be a bad game quite yet. Just maybe not a good one. Definitely not through the air. We got Chuck Norris again. Chuck Norris changed some skin tones and grew out his hair. But he's, he's pretty good. Dude, did they give everyone on USF the same build? 
look at look at this. Hill, Williams, Norris, Boyles, all just black guys with dreads. And two of my D linemen. They all have like the same body type too. I'm starting to think NCAA EA was racist. I would uh, uh, actually. I guess they didn't make this roster. It wasn't. It was whoever created the revamps made the roster. Damn, that dude's racist. I don't know if you've seen Brian Batty in real life too. He looks nothing like his picture in this game. Just to add some icing on top. Oil's gonna go out there. They got Greyer. Can we run up the middle? We won't. It's a screen. I should have been ready for it. I wasn't. Turner doesn't really get a lot of yards though. In fact, he gets negative yards. I tackled him for loss. And uh, it's looking pretty good for us now. I mean, Louisville overall wise was probably the best team. I, I want to say is the best team we faced. But they have not played like it, dude. I, I did a terrible job of turning that one's on me. I tried going in and then cutting out, and then I just kind of couldn't make up my mind. I don't know what our rushing or passing yard total is at right now. Which isn't very important for those boosts. But I'm pretty sure we haven't hit on either one. As Brian Batty gets a giant run. Yeah, we only have 78 after a big run there, too. Definitely going to continue running it. Uh, I don't know. I like look at this play. This blocking never seems to work. They like double up. It's supposed to be an outside run. I just feel like they don't block to the outside. And that one wasn't bad. We got four yards out of it, but it feels like that might have been one of the better times I've used it too. So we're gonna run this power O again and again and again. Dude, Brian Batty. Oh my goodness, he makes two men miss. Dives into the end zone, 27 yard touchdown. That puts us over 100 rushing. We hit that bonus. My oh my, dude. The double juke. Brian Batty's elusive, I tell you what. And because he is uh, not going to be transferring on this roster, not going to go to Auburn in the game, like he did in real life, he will. More than likely be. Yeah, look at Chuck Norris. He will probably be a franchise legend. And by franchise, I mean. Um, there's a word here I'm looking for that isn't related to Madden or the NFL. Uh, campus? Campus legend? Sure. That works. Kind of, I, my brain is short circuited. Short circuited. I can't even speak properly. That's how bad it is. Nonetheless, we are going to stop them, right? 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 Ooh, good route by Jamari Thrash. One of the coolest names I think I've ever seen. And I guess that means he's a real person, right? Jamari Thrash is a real human being, more than likely. That's sick. I don't know if he's like NFL talent of a player, but if he is, it'd be cool to watch him play and say his name while you're watching a football game. Or playing that with real rosters. We got Jones here, though. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Maurice Turner, five yards there. They're kind of maybe driving better here than they have the game. Actually, they've done not terrible at driving the football. Uh, they just can't seem to find the end zone. Which, like I said, bending but don't break isn't a bad way to run the touchdown sometimes. If, it, if your offense can score touchdowns and get a solid lead, sometimes this is all you have to do. I mean, you can ask the... Uh, you can ask... Let's see. What's an example of this? I guess it would be the Eagles. Uh... Uh, the Buccaneers versus the Eagles in this most recent playoff game uh, gave up some field goals, but scored way more points. And so they were, you know, they, they bent but didn't break, and it, it paid off 
majorly to get them into the divisional round, which hasn't started yet uh, when I record this. And hopefully it goes very well for the Buccaneers. I'm very scared now that I've said it out loud. Probably not going to, but that's fine. Playing the Lions. Uh, but in an example where bending but breaking... Or bending but not breaking doesn't work would be the Panthers. They didn't give up any touchdowns to the Bucks in the last week of the season. Gave up three field goals. However, they put up zero points on the offense. So, of course, it didn't work. Actually, that was technically back-to-back -back boots, too, if you think about it, so that's pretty crazy. A negative four-yard rush inside the 10 there, so it's going to be second and goal. Now it's at the 10, and then it's now fourth quarter. We're up by 22, three possessions. I mean, I feel so comfortable. I have said, like, oh, this game's pretty much out of reach, and then can continue to make it close by being terrible. So of course I don't want to do that. And they are indeed in a dangerous spot for me. However, our defensive end absolutely shuts down that play. Jatorian Hansford, baby. That's such a weird name, but I, I love it at the same time. I'm going to put Jones back in his zone. I'm going to use Grover. We're not close enough that I feel comfortable being responsible for over the top. And our player does break up the pass. It still almost gets caught by someone else, which was crazy. Uh, the, now it's fourth and goal. I mean, they, they kind of have to go for this, 100%. Um, we're going to use boils. And I was all over him, and then I, I cut more inside than he did. He, he didn't, like, he almost just stopped running his route. And it, because he did, I was predicting him to keep running. And they scored a touchdown on fourth and ten. Wow. I mean, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, if my team just doesn't get pressure, there's not much I can do. I know I'm only blitzing four, but, like, he actually had about six seconds to throw that football. That was insane. And now, all of a sudden, it's a lot closer of a game than I would like. We're going to cut it back to the left. Williams has so much room. Going to cut it back inside. He gets caught up. I tried to juke a little bit, too. It didn't work. What a play. Um, I think we still need passing yards to hit our passing bonus. I don't think it's a lot. It should be. Uh, so we are going to run some quick slams, trying to think and dunk this ball. Brown cuts it inside, makes a man miss. He gets 20 yards there. We get 10 first downs. Did we hit our goal, though? Oh, we're not even close? Ooh. Okay. I know I shouldn't air it out, but I am. I thought we'd be way closer to hitting our goal. Oh, God. Ryan Batty gets one. <laughs> that was an insane play. That was just a whole uh, yeah, we might not hit the passing red goal, and that would actually be very, very bad. Um, I almost care more about hitting that goal than I do winning. We're going to throw it just on the sideline. Weaver, he got the touchdown? Are they going to challenge it? They're going to review it. I'm pretty sure he got a foot down, but I don't know how he got in the end zone. Yeah. His left foot is down. I guess they're going to say that ball crossed before his right foot hit out. And it stands. Wow. Awesome. All right. That pretty much seals the game. I mean, it's as close to sealing the game without doing it as it gets. However, we still need some passing yards. Only maybe about 20 to 30 more. Maybe, yeah, maybe more? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. But, we do have some passing yards to still get, so we, we, we want to keep our foot on the pedal. Keep our throat, keep our foot on their throat. I'm going to run my covers, dude. But 
chain me on a Kiwi Spy, I guess. He does throw it away, Jack Plummer. Had a really good drive the last one out, but other than that, hasn't. Um, I can't believe we gave up that touchdown, too. That was insane. Why is it just not letting me have my players that I normally use? I kind of have to leave those under the middle open, and uh, it won't let me switch on. Never mind, it does. LaPointe gets a pick six. Okay. That's cool. I rock with that. That was maybe the least exciting reaction I've had to a pick six in this game so far, but that's awesome. Uh, the only only downside of that is that once again, it's not help us reach our goal. Uh, but we still have three minutes. I doubt they're going to take up all three. And then hopefully we will have an opportunity. Jarvis Brownlee is returning now. Did their other guy get hurt? I don't know. Maybe he's just out of energy. Um, yeah, he was just out of energy because I'm pretty sure that's him over there. We're going to use LaPointe who just got the pick six. First one of this series. They did get a bunch of passing yards there. Not ideal. However, they're at mid midfield. I keep accidentally going in an accent because I misspeak. And in my effort to correct it, I end up... I thought it was the QB. Okay. I, I mean, I gave this one too. I, you know, it was a, actually a good play call. Because now, now I have more time to hit my goal. Um... Yeah, no, that was, that was actually what I wanted to do. But I keep misspeaking and trying to correct what I'm saying, and it ends up me just going in an accent. Like I'm speaking broken English. You're not going to actually onside this, are you kidding me? Oh, that's so aggravating. Dude, you're down 21, come on. Let's be real with ourselves. The only, like reason you're even in this game is because of accidental broken plays. Do you think you're going to get three in a row? Not to mention you would have to get the onsides as well. Let's be real with ourselves. Uh, maybe I go corner strike. Kind of gauge gauge the room as, as you would. I'm going to put Brown on a to... Oh my goodness. I got heat seeking blitz there. I really need to make sure that doesn't take away the rushing goal, too. A 10 yard sack counts as negative rushing yards. And I, I don't. I think we're fine. I think I should just still focus on passing. I have to hit the passing regardless, anyways. Um. Yeah, can you guys maybe not just, like, do what you're doing on defense? That'd be sick. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm going to go for it on fourth. I have no shame in that. We need 30 passing yards. Okay, good to know, good to know. Uh, yeah, let's do this and then actually not do the slip screen. Let's switch. Chris Carter drops it. Okay. Um, I'm getting, like, annoyed because, A, this game shouldn't be this close. That is what it is. I don't really care. I expect that. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to do things, and I'm just getting unlocked. Like, instant pressured and sacked. And finally, I get pressure. I, it's because I was about to complain that I haven't gotten pressure. That's literally what just happened. I, I guarantee it. It was the jinxing thing. So... We're gonna no huddle, and uh, my control is frozen. Okay. We're gonna tackle in four loss. They're gonna no huddle again. No, they're not. Okay. Cool. They're taking up the time that I need in order to hit my goals, though. I'm gonna tell the defense to back off. I'm going to try and make sure this isn't a completed pass deep. It's a sack. I'm tempted to call a timeout. I won't. I'm going to assume they won't to 
or take a bunch of time off the clock before they punt. Okay, they don't. Good. I'm gonna call for a catch. I have to make sure I hit this passing goal. I need to make sure I hit it, dude. It would be so detrimental to my mental health if I don't. Okay, I'm gonna run for the first because A, that confirms that I don't have to worry about the rushing. And B, it gives me a... I, I don't go to like second down. Instead of, go to Brian Batty. Petit. We'll call a timeout. I'm not a fan of this playbook. I, I'm going to change it, I think. If I remember. Um, yeah, this should be fine, I would think. Our one's open. Coffee Brown. 350 yards of offense, so I'm very, very close to the passing. We're going to no huddle. We just call the same play. We will. Okay. Can I, can I hike it, please? Thank you. Brown's gonna get 10. I'm gonna call a timeout. That wasn't uh, 250. What? How many passing yards are we at? We have to be literally <laughs> one yard short. I was gonna say, we have to be literally within a couple of yards. Okay. Just, just, just catch it, little John. Little John, come on. Please. I'm begging. This, this bonus is like a, maybe a deal breaker for some of these players. You never know. Oh my god, there's no way. There's no way it's going to sell me. I will not, I will not be able to sleep at night. It will not go down like this. I won't let it. There's no way back-to-back -back drops right there. And I need one yard. Dude, I, I just need to rely on Coffee Brown. He's the greatest player in NCAA history. Nine interceptions, 180 yards. He's like actually the only reason we even got close to hitting our goal. Um, if we can snap this, I'll go ahead and do it just because. Brian Batie gets two yards. All right. We dominated Louisville. We, by the skin of our teeth, scraped by with our bonuses, which is good. Oh my goodness, that was so stressful, dude. That was so stressful. Um, that's going to go ahead and be the end of this episode. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, when the next episode starts, it will probably be an important screen. So, uh, I hopefully we'll see you then.